Today on Wildland News, BPA's impact on their local community and an inspirational and exceptional member of our community. Good evening, thank you for joining us here at Wildland News. I'm Saul Andreas. And I'm Andrea Dape. Now for the news. Once again, BPA participates to show their support for the community at a local event. Here's Susana Lozano telling us more about it. Yes, yeah, so BPA definitely contributes to their local community in events such as Flight of the Monarch, an event that is held here annually to celebrate the monarch's journey from North America to Mexico. Here we have Director of Event Mae Smith telling us more about it. So what is a Flight of the Monarch? What inspired you to host it and how does it go? Flight of the Monarch is a celebration of the migration of the monarch butterfly. We decided um, when we built Central Park uh, about five years ago that we wanted to protect the environment there, so we selected the butterfly to help be the symbol of that. Uh, did we know the next year that it was actually going to be on the endangered species list? We decided that now we would change the vision of the, the event to saving the monarch and all pollinators for uh, and educating people about that event. And what are your thoughts on getting people from BPA to participate in this event? One of the great assets that we have in our community is this school and, and BPA. And they offer so much to this event. They, they give of their so many hours to the event. They participate in so many aspects of it. We couldn't do it without them. Well, wonderful. One of the great things that we do is we reach out to our community, our, our schools, and um, we ask for volunteers. And the business professionals always step up. They always want to volunteer for our events, and we just love that. Um, they uh, work in every aspect of our event. They contribute many hours. They work very, very hard. So they definitely add mm -hmm. a lot of value to these events. Absolutely. And what impact do you think these causes um, have on not only the volunteers but also on the community? I think it helps our community bond and come together um, as one to offer not only our Metroplex, um, shows them what we can do and how our community can come together and the students learn great valuable lessons through uh, their work ethic, meeting people, what types of jobs they like and what they don't like. All right, thank you so much for thank your time. You. We really appreciate thank it. You. I'm Susanna Lasagna, back in the studio. Thank you, Susanna. In other news, it really is important to remind the following generations of the importance of giving back to the community. That's right, Andrea. And on that note, Eugenia was out interviewing Susanna Ramirez, an inspirational and exceptional member of our community. Here's Eugenia telling us more about it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, Andrea. It is important to remind people to give back to our community. Here we have Susana Ramirez, an outstanding member of our community. What motivated you to do what you do? You know, I have been asked that question many, many times. And what inspires me to do what I do within my community is what someone else did for me many, many years ago. I had someone that inspired me to see what they were doing to help the community. So I'm hoping that by working in the community, inspiring our youth, they will come back and do the same someday for other people. Who do you think you have impacted the most in our community? The youth, I hope I have impacted them the most. I've been very instrumental in raising funds for scholarships. I know that an education is going to get them where, where they need to be. I was the first one in my family to graduate from high school, go to college, and get my master's degree. And I know that can be a very motivating factor for the entire family. So I, I hope that through my actions, um, more youth will try to get involved. Thank you, Ms. Ramirez, for being such an inspirational person to our community. And I hope people can take what you do and get inspired by it. Thank you. My hope is to be a role model for all of our youth and inspire them to reach their goals and follow their dreams. Anything is possible. And always remember this, come back and give back to your community. You'll be helping others and making a big difference. My name is Eugenia Padilla, reporting live for Wild and News, back to the studio. Well, there you have it, a perfect example of someone to follow. That's right, and thank you for being with us tonight. Don't forget to tune in to our next segment of Wild and News. <laughs>